Have you ever heard of the Iceberg Overdrive by DFX? Well, maybe you had because I did Big Brother the Traveler Distortion a couple weeks ago. But we're going to introduce you to this little guy today, right here on Geargasms. Welcome to Geargasms, everybody. I'm Alan Barnes, your host. Today I have with me the Iceberg Overdrive by DFX. Now, my buddy Nate Heltman, he sent this to me. He is the American distributor for this product. It is a gorgeous little pedal. We're going to get right into playing it, having some fun with it, seeing what it can do. But first, if you're new to the channel, I'd really like to encourage you to subscribe. Now, this is another pedal that I got full free. That is my favorite price when it comes to pedals. It was free. Mm, free. Yeah. Got it for free. The first one was really good. I'm really excited to see how this one's going to do today. This one is an overdrive. It's similar to the first one in that it has the same knob layout. It has the same three clipping modes. But it should be a little more subtle. We're going to run it again through the orange amplifier. This time I'm going to use my Paul Reed Smith Custom 24. 10 top, flex. Just that I thought the color kind of matched pretty nicely with it. Plus, they want me to do this with single coils and double coils so you can hear the characteristics of both. So before my Viagra kicks in, let's Aww. jump right into this. <laughs> All right, let's see what we've got. We're going to give you the cleanest clean D you've ever heard. Now, I've got this thing set where I hope, based on my experience with the last one, Unity Gain was. Let's come in. Let's just sort of go halfway. So you got to change the single coil. Let's see if it behaves like it's Big Brother with the clipping. While we've got just a little, that's the middle, clip one. Ooh, we lost a lot of gain there, didn't we? Not really so much gain, we lost a lot of volume. All right, so that's pretty much like, where was it, about halfway up? All right, so right away, my more favorite spot is in the middle. Let's hear it with single coil. Neck. Let's clip it. At least that other clipping mode. I really like that. There's just a little bit of hair on it. Oh, goodness. Back in the middle. Let's go back to the bridge pickup. Well, first of all, let's go back to where we were and explore the tone control. Let's go up. Bridge pick up humbucker. Right away I like that better with the single coil. Has that real throaty. Let's play the clipping. Now at this gain setting, I actually like that one a little bit better. Funny how that is. It needs a little goose. Get 
gets a little too nasal for me in the humbucker range. So let's, but why not? We're gonna go all the way to max juice. Just for reference again, give you the clean. You can go from that to this. That's about as metal as you can get. And I know that ain't enough, but we're gonna try a new trick in a minute. We're gonna clean boost this into the gain side of the orange. But first, let me go back away from that because man, oh man, there's so much good stuff here in the middle. I don't wanna cut this thing short shrift. tone reminded me of that riff but good stuff let's 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 see if we can do some metal with this gotta know just gotta know let's see if we can do some metal with this metal must have metal all right as promised we're going to see how heavy we can get this little overdrive it is not a recommended use but we don't have to give up <laughs> That's just the orange by itself, and that, of course, is the, the riff that every metal player goes to when he's trying to decide if it can do metal. But let's see how just that bass tone sounds with a little bit of grease. I'm going to take this guy way, way back like we did before. We might have to play with the, the output. Let's see what happens. Okay. But now... That kind of focuses a little bit. That doesn't really get me what I would want, though. And the reason is, the reason is, let's let's like say you're just doing some single notes. Say you want to give it some more grease. It's time. Let's not even play around. Why be subtle? We're going to pound town. That's about as metal as it gets. That is not enough, but to be fair, that's not what this pedal is designed for. I was just curious. All right, so let's play it out with a little bit of middle stuff again. That's where it really shines. What did I think? I like getting free stuff. That's what I like. That's what I think. <laughs> but I was impressed with the fact that even though it looks the same, it's a different color, same layout as its distortion brother, it is definitely a different set of characteristics. So what did we learn today? We learned that there's a difference between an overdrive and a distortion pedal. 
I'm still not sure I can really articulate what that is, but we know it when we hear it. We also learned, just like it's Big Brother the Distortion, it really allows the difference between single single coil and double coil pickups to really come through in the lower gain settings. You can really hear the different clipping modes. You turn it where it's just all noise and, and some of that stuff's going to go away, but you still hear the pickup difference, which is superb. As always, a thank you for your time. You can buy a t-shirt if you're so inclined. We have links in the description. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Tell some of your low rent friends about Geargasms. I know you got them. We all do. Whatever you do in the next seven days, don't tell Carlos Santana about it because he's just going to show up and meander around the stage playing the same three notes. Aww. But play more guitar, watch less YouTube, and keep coming back here week after week for more Geargasm.